building a sturdy garden gate like this one is easier than you think. And I'm here to show you how. So let's dive into the blueprints of this garden gate. The first step is to measure the opening in which the garden gate will hang. Here, I'm working with an opening of 1.8 meter high by 940 millimeters wide. And I'm going to hang the gate from the timber side braces that are attached to the brick wall. Let's talk timber. I'm going to need seven 1.7 meter lens of 22 by 94 millimeter plain all round pine timber for the gate uprights. I've cut these with a circular saw from 1.8 meter lens. Your dimensions may well vary just plan accordingly. I'm also going to need three timbers at 1.8 meters. Also 22 by 94 millimeter plain all round pine. And that's going to be for the horizontal and the diagonal braces. I'll cut those down later. And then we need two 38 by 114 CCA treated timbers at 1.8 meters. These have been sanded and varnished with two coats. I'm going to start by laying the CCA treated timbers 940 millimeters apart on a flat surface. I also want a 15 millimeter spacing between the gate and the CCA treated timbers on either side. So I'm putting four 15 millimeter spacers in place. I'm then laying all seven of my pine slats next to each other. This distance between the last slats and the 15 millimeter spacer needs to be measured. That's 180 millimeters. Take that divided by your number of spacers, which is six spacers. That gives me 30 millimeters and I've already cut the spacers for that. I can now place my slats across the width with a spacer in between and do the same on the opposite side. Next, the horizontal braces. Place your 1.8 meter length across the timbers, ensuring one side is flush. And on the opposite end, score a line and cut to size. In this case, 840 millimeters. And I need three of these. I'm using a length of timber to ensure that all the slats are flush. I'm measuring 240 millimeters from the end and then placing my cross braces across, marking on the outer end. Now apply wood glue to the cross braces and position that onto the pencil marks that I made earlier before securing with the four by 30 millimeter screws. Impact driver for the win. This guy is made for fastening. Repeat for the opposite side, as well as the middle, which is mounted at half the height of our gate. That's 850 millimeters from either the top or the bottom edge. My last piece to measure and cut are the diagonal braces. Place the timber, ensuring that the bottom corner of the top brace and the top corner of the middle brace line up with the outer edges of the timber. Mark the edges of the timber on either side. Score a line, cut it with a circular saw, apply wood glue and fasten it into place using the screws. And we're gonna need two diagonal braces for this gate. My gate is assembled. Now it's time to treat it for the conditions that it's going to be living in, which is outdoors. My gate needs to stand the test of time. So I'm covering the screw holes with wood filler and giving that light sanding once dried. And I'm also going to be applying three coats of fine earth velvet wood varnish in the color burnt brown on all the timbers that I'm working with. This wood preservative will add UV protection to the wood and protection against other weather elements. Allow 24 hours to dry between coats. Everything is dried. It's now time for the quick installation. And we're going to start by mounting the side braces onto the walls using the 8 by 100 millimeter roll bolts. I'm positioning the timber against one side wall and then drilling an 8 millimeter hole through the timber with the wood bit, gently marking the brickwork. I'm then drilling a 14 millimeter hole into the wall with an SDS drill, ensuring that my dead stop is set. Place the roll bolts through the timber and into the hole and then tighten with an impact driver. Repeat for the middle and bottom on both sides of the gate opening. Next, the T hinges, which I'm going to secure in line with the top and bottom horizontal braces using four by 30 millimeter wood screws and an impact drill. Fasten the hinges to the wall side first and then onto the gate. As with most DIYs, there's always a plot twist. 
In this case, unfortunately, the wall is not straight. However, I've made a plan. I fastened the brackets onto this, and that is where the latch is going to go into. So, let's screw the latch onto the gate. A simple, yet classic DIY is easy with the right materials and tools. And Builders has it all, either in store or online at builders.co.za. For more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. It's due day for home DIYs. What are you waiting for? Get to Builders, get it done.